Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll look at Panther Origami uploaded by W. Lan Cabell. First things first is we go down to the developer notes, see if he has any recommendations. And we do see he recommends a resolution of 0.2 millimeters and an infill of 20%. And I believe that's basically it for that. So let's go on and click on download all files. And once we do, We'll be given this folder with a Panther STL. So we're going to click on that, click and hold, and drag it into our preferred slicer of choice. Once the model has finished loading up, you can hold right click to move around the model and take a look at all sides of it. Now you do see at the very bottom there's quite a bit of red. And that means that the model will need some uh, support in order to print correctly. So let's go step by step and first select the layer height. So we're going to click here and we're going to click on standard quality, which is a 0.2 millimeter layer height, which is what the developer recommended. If this pops up, all I have to do is click on discard. That just erases all other previous modifications you did to the actual profile. Now, the developer also recommended an infill of 20%. Most slicers already have 20% as default, but in case you don't, you can just click on infill, infill density, and set it to 20%. Next, support. We're going to go to the Supports tab, click on Generate Support. Now, depending on your printer, you can have an overhang angle of 45 degrees all the way up to 70. Now, I'm going to stick with around 60 degrees because I know my printer well and it does pretty fine at 60. But if you haven't really benchmarked your printer, stay around 45. You should be uh, fine at that angle. Now, Support Density, we're going to lower it down to 10%. This basically means it will be a little bit less dense in the, on the insides of the support, meaning they will be easier to remove, and we definitely want that for this model. And then finally, we're going to go to support Z distance, and we're going to up that from 0 0.2 to 0 0.26. And that, once again, will make the support quite a bit easier to remove. Now, build plate adhesion, we really will not need any because of the paws, uh, there's a little bit of contact error between the paws and the actual uh, build plate, but with supports, it's gonna add a lot more contact area, so we will not need any build plate adhesion. And other than that, we're uh, set to go, so just hit slice and give it a few seconds to render up. Once it's finished slicing, we should be given a time estimate of roughly two hours and 44 minutes, which will vary depending on your print settings and uh, printer itself as well as a estimated filament usage of only 17 grams. So we should always preview the print to see if anything is weird or anything funky is going on. And once again, we see that everything looks pretty good. Nothing that gives us any alarms. So uh, it looks like a pretty good G-code. So all I have to do now is save the file, send it over to the printer, and let it print. Support removal is not too difficult with only a 2 out of 5 rating. Now, it is highly recommended that you cut the support in pieces or pull it off in uh, little sections in order to not damage the model. Here's the model once all the supports have been removed. The model stands at roughly 3.5 centimeters and has no visual defects. The panther is very clean and has sharp edges as expected. If needed, you could stand the bottom side of the panther for a better finish. The panther turned out very good overall and proved to be a very easy small print.